something to think about whilst you're all in lockdown is, is trying to be a little bit more accurate and a bit more precise um, with your measurements, with your depths in particular. So especially with pole fishing, but this applies to uh, waggler fishing as well. It's, it's all very well saying you caught about two foot or you're fishing about four foot or six foot, but it's nice to actually know those depths you've actually fished. And also when you speak to other people, if, if they're caught in three foot, you can apply that to your own fishing as well. So, so um, obviously we can't all take a, a, a meter ruler with us or a tape measure or anything. So it's nice to have um, things to hand that you can actually use as measuring gauges. And the easiest thing for me is actually my cupping kit. Now I've got um, six inch measurements and every foot I've just written um, the actual depth all the way up to the end where I've gone all the way up to eight foot. Now that's just with, just with colored tape. So uh, that's all I've used for that. So, um, and it's a nice, easy thing. Obviously you're not fishing with your cupping kit. So the extra weight of all that tape isn't gonna make a lot of difference. It's nice to have that as a useful reference point that's up by your side all day. And, and very rarely I'm fishing um, or float fishing without a cupping kit set up. So, so that's a real nice depth gauge for anything up to eight foot. Now also, um, your top kits, some people actually write on the top kits, I've got the new shallow kits here from Matrix and there, they've got 6 inch increments all the way up to 30 inches which is ideal for your shallow fishing. Now I've carried that on all the way up um, just with a little um, sharpie marker pen all the way up to the top so that goes to 66 inches there, Ooh, where is it, there it is there. All the way to 66 inches and obviously there's a, there's the end of the pole tip there so that's another little thing you can think about doing but um, obviously not, not everyone wants to go to that sort of extreme but it's nice to be accurate with your depths and so have a little thing put some tape or or transfers or um or paint or do you know you can obviously make a much neater job than this but um have a think about putting some depth gauges on your top kits in particular and your cupping kit and um, I'm sure it will help you in the long run um, create a better picture of what's been going on on your fishing sessions.